Many people call to the restaurant and then we want to support, we want to help you. But how they can help? I come from Venezuela. I stay for 20 years in this country. So I work for almost 18 years in, in the kitchen and in, in this industry. A year ago, Miriam Mavarez was living her dream. She was a successful businesswoman running two busy restaurants. Before the pandemic, we were very, very fun people. We enjoy the work. We never think we work. We enjoy the life, we enjoy the customer, the customer, very nice person. We are the big family. What was it like when the pandemic first started last year? I say, okay, we need clothes because I hear the news. That's better clothes because we don't know what happened with the pandemic. I don't, have, I don't want problem with my guys in the kitchen. So don't worry about, take a little vacation. So past March, past April, when May is coming, say, oh my God, so scary. We need to pay the rent, we need to pay electricity, and we don't have any sale. We don't have enough money for everything. A few months into the pandemic, she had to close one of her restaurants. Now she's shutting down the other. Right now, we need to start a new story and start again, start again. That's not easy because we are not exactly a young person. Start again in this country with the pandemic is so hard. I'm not clear what we need to do, but I'm clear I need to say Cocotero goodbye because it's, it's not fair for us. Words too much, work so hard, and no business for us. No business for us. Mavarez isn't just one of the millions who are out of work right now. She's like the center of a terrible pandemic Venn diagram. Women's workforce participation is the lowest it's been since 1988. Unemployment rates for people of color are higher than that of white workers. Women-owned businesses, which are often in customer-facing industries, have had to dramatically cut staff or close this year. And the restaurant industry is collapsing. How much does it cost to run this restaurant? It, almost 12000 Plus electricity, insurance, tax, and everything. I need sell 20000 What did you hear from people? I'm honey, many people call me. No, I can't believe that. Why? What we need to do, if you want, we can open, um, go for me. It, right now is the best decision. Because I don't, we don't want to use the only a little safe we have to only pay a bill and rent and electricity if you don't have business. Hi, I'm here. Hola, saluda. That's me. It's, uh, I'm tourist the first week. Did you ever think when you moved here from Venezuela that you would end up owning two big restaurants? No, 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 no. My plan was save money to send Venezuela and buy my small apartment in Caracas and open the store. Fashion, I love the fashion, the jewelry and clothes. And the fashion week, I go to all fashion week in the years because I love it. But I might like change for the kitchen. And I love it, but I never think I work in the kitchen. Never. I say thank you, God, for that beautiful story, but I want to continue my, my dream. Now she's trying to figure out her next move. She's experimenting with Instagram, posting tutorials on how to make jewelry and refinish furniture. What does it feel like to know that you're not going to be here anymore? My, in this place is almost all my story in this country. My son, he, he grew up here. All the story for him is here. 
Many people know him. He, he, when he was baby, he sleep in the booth because he worked in the kitchen. So we have long, nice story here. I know it's so hard because we had long, beautiful story, but it's time to close. How does it feel to be in that situation now? I feel down. But okay. I work so hard. That's my American dream is here. I don't have more American dream because everything is broke. So I'll start again. I trust in God. I know he has something new for us. I'm sure.